Good afternoon, guys. This is Diego Huerta, the PIB Realtor, out here in the hot city of Houston. It is hot. <laughs> There's, it's just hot, man. It's just hot. Anyways, um, this is my fourth video on my five keys on becoming a real estate agent or be going from part-time real estate to full-time. Um, my number four is social media or not doing social media correctly, marketing, really. And I see a lot of people that are kind of not into the social media marketing, but the people that execute get the leads, right? Um, some people say that they post and stuff and they don't see any turnaround or any leads come in or whatnot. Uh, maybe you need to try, try different things. I mean, and constantly try different things because you have to change it up a bit. You can't be doing the same thing. Hey guys, I'm here for your real estate needs. That's not gonna work, man. Posting your business card and saying, hey guys, I'm here for your real estate needs. If it's buy, sell, invest, uh, listing. Nah, man, it, it, it's not gonna work, man. So I would use it. I would try different things. I would do videos, I would do whatever it is. It's just do something with social media, make it a little bit entertaining, engaging with your followers or people that you know you connect with. How else are you going to reap, you know, get leads out of social media, you know? And make sure that you post on different social medias, not just one, because you're missing out on different uh, social medias. Anyways, uh, you have to see it as a review or a portfolio of your work because, for example, if somebody recommends you a restaurant, you are going to look it up, you're going to look at their Instagram, their Facebook, you're going to look at the reviews before you even decide of going over there. And that's maybe like a $50 purchase, $20 purchase, depending on how many people go or whatnot. These are people buying thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if they don't see you being active, they don't see you doing what you're claiming you are doing, then there is not gonna be any trust. There's not gonna be anything to back up what you are saying. We live in a society where there's more talking than action. So one of the things that I, I like is to post, I don't do it all the time, but I do post my closings and you know things that I do, classes or whatnot, achievements that I have in my social, uh, I mean my real estate career. And that goes a long way because people actually see the proof that I know what I'm doing, which will get more trust, which will get more connections, which will get more leads. Uh, some people don't even have Facebook Messenger. Like, that blows my mind. Like, how are you gonna reply to the people that don't have your phone number? Like, it doesn't make sense. Um, get onto the reviews, do your Facebook reviews, do your Zillow reviews, do your uh, Realtor.com reviews, do any review possible, Yelp, anything. Like I said, people look you up in a, sometimes you're in competition with other agents and guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna look you up. Whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, whether it's on Yelp, Google, whatever. And they are gonna pick the person they trust the most to sell their home or buy a home with. I'm not saying to be a kiosk salesperson, you know, to bombard things. And that's how it comes off when you say, I'm here for your real estate needs. You know, it, it, it's, it, it's annoying, even to realtors. What I did early on in my career was I started following realtors. They were productive realtors. And I started seeing the different things they did to engage with people, to interact with people. And I'm not saying to copy exactly what people do, but to give you an idea if you don't have a guidance where to start. Uh, you are a self-employed 
person, you are a business owner in this. I can't emphasize that. So many times I can emphasize it every day. I tell people all the time is like, it's self-employed. Like you need to take care of your stuff. You need to take care of your business. Not the broker, it's you. You can only take, you have to take responsibility for everything. It's only you. If you are not getting leads, if you are not getting closing, it's on you. It's not your broker, it's not your mom, it's not your aunt. People get mad because their family members or friends don't use them to buy or sell whatever, you know, in real estate. I mean, they, nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. And you as a friend, you as a family member should be happy for them if they bought a house. Now, if they didn't choose you, it might not even be because they, they, they don't like you or something or they don't trust you. It might be because whatever reason they have you know maybe they don't want you to know how much they make maybe they don't want personal things to be out in the open you, you can't take it personal guys like this is sales like you should just be happy for them and you know they got a house like it's an awesome thing nobody owes you anything if you're not doing the work if you're not doing the marketing if you're not connecting if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you can't blame anybody else but yourself. We have to start taking more responsibility for our actions. We need to start taking more uh, responsibility for the things we don't execute. I'm not perfect at everything, but if I do lack in something, I go find something that, is, that somebody that is good at it. I learn from them, I ask them questions or whatnot, and if I still don't get it, whatever, you have to just hire that person to do it for you. You need to start delegating some stuff. If you're not good at social media, find somebody, find your 15 year old cousin or niece or whatever, granddaughter to do it for you. Like, I bet you she will get more action out of it than you and she will have enjoy it, you know, being a part of your team or whatnot, you know? Um, but yeah, the, the social media is the new uh, where you get the, the attention at. It replaced the television. The television replaced the radio. The Whether you like social media, you don't like social media, whatever, it's where the attention is at right now. And maybe social media changes in a few years or whatnot. I'm not saying this should be the only pipeline you have for leads but it's a very strong one right now. Everybody's on their phone. Everybody has a smartphone for the majority. 